Hello, I'm Drew Payne here, welcome back to the last Plague Blight, where of course in the last one I think we pretty well much built all of the tools and machines that we're going to need. Uh, we got the grinding wheel up and running, we also made this uh, distillery thing as well and distilled some of that slime down and we then infused it with uh, these leaves over here. So I'd like to try and push the blight back today if we can, I'm not sure exactly how we do that. Uh, but there was an update in between the episodes, and I've just switched it back to default. Um, so there was a, it was a bunch of performance uh, and visual updates and stuff like that. Uh, but one of them was pushing out the draw distance uh, when you're in this uh, new camera angle. So this is kind of roughly default. And then if I go into the graphics settings over here, um, this is a little slider. Um, this is about, I think the default uh, when the update was done was at 50%. But if we go there, you can now see, as you can just see, that's popped in. We've got that hill that we can see off in the distance, uh, which is pretty sweet. Um, obviously, this is going to be system dependent, so it depends what your system's like as to how far you're going to be able to push that. Um, I've been running around for a little while with it on, and it seems fine for me. But um, I've got a, I've got an okay PC, so um, if you've got an older system, you might struggle a little bit. But um, you got the slider there, so you could pull it up a little bit and play around with it and twiddle and tweak it and get it to how so it runs nice on your system um, but anyway I think what we're going to do then is try and I don't know how to use this stuff and uh, now that's how we crafted it I want to come over here and try and burn this uh, blight back but we'll see how that goes um, hmm. how do I use that oh oh I need 12 ah Okay, right, so I need to go and get more slime if I'm to do that. That's a shame. Hmm. Okay, what are we going to do? Well, I'll show you what else I was doing as well. As you can see, I've taken this bit of the bit of the base down, and I'm going to redesign this place. Uh, let's just put that stuff back for the moment then. I've got some water boiling up in there. Uh, we also made some candles as well. I think I can just relight those by the looks of it. So uh, that's pretty good. I'm assuming that eventually they'll burn down. Uh, but as you can see over here, I've dragged all along um, the long, those uh, thin tree trunks, that's it, long sticks, all that sort of stuff over here. And then I've kind of, ooh, hello. Should we take that guy? I don't reckon we, can we take him on? Should we, should we try? That's right, really stupid, right? I feel like it's a really dumb idea. Maybe we should like throw a spear at him first or something. Uh, that's something else we need to do is make some spears. Uh, rather than these just pointy sticks that we've got basically, but I could throw a spear at him first, but he's wandering this way, which Should we try and kill him? I could save it. Yeah, let's save it. It's only if I die It's just gonna load my save up anyway, so I may as well just uh, save it and then we'll see if we can take him down Right, okay. I've saved it. So let's throw a spear at him first It's not gonna do a huge amount of damage, but it might just do you know do 20 damage on it and just kind of chip him down a little bit No, it won't. It'll completely miss um, you're walking in my build area as well. Uh, as you can see, I've marked this out with some sticks. It's not the shape of the build or anything. It's just kind of a rough area that I want to mark out to build in. Uh, let's kind of grab that again and just see if we can hit you with a spear. Oh, boy. That's... Yeah, I kind of don't want to anger you. Damn it, mate. Let's grab hold of that and then we'll run away. Just kind of cheese him a little bit. Well, dude, stand still. I want to hit you with a spear. Can't be too difficult. You're a bit of a big fella. So. Now oh, he's moving again. Moving through all my uh, stuff now. Uh, mate, that's my pile of uh, pine branches. Do you not do that? Damn it. Alright, let's just throw, let's throw a spear at this guy. Oh, there we are. And then let's get this out. He'd be mad. He's doing a lot more damage as well. Oh, hello. There we go. I'm almost out of stamina, though. Oh, we killed him. Oh, we did it. I think that um, I think that spear might have helped. Obviously, a steel spear would definitely help. But, damn, we just killed the brown bear. So, yeah. I wouldn't want to take two of those on. Absolutely not. But that's a ton of fats and all sorts of stuff. I'm assuming the same with the black bear. Uh, I can't do anything with that either, so I'm probably just going to let you rot, to be perfectly honest. 
Uh, but yeah, like what, like I was saying, I'm probably going to take this down and rebuild this area and build it in here. So what my plan would be is have kind of L-shaped building, like that type of deal. And then this will be kind of like a courtyard where we can like bring the um, cart in. We might have a few of the um, crucibles and stuff like that outside maybe or under, under cover. And then we'll have this as a fenced off area or a wall here. And then this side will be kind of open a little bit with the, some gaps in the fences. Um, I'd quite like to build out of stone eventually. But I think to start with, uh, if we go to walls... I quite like to build these stone walls, but I need to make lime mortar, which I'm not exactly sure. No, it does that every time you click on it, it goes to a different thing, and then when you click on it again, it shows you the actual um, recipe that you want to see. So, kind of odd there. Um, but I've got to make some quick lime, and then obviously it's sand and water, which is easy to come by. Um, and I've got to heat that up. I'm assuming I put it in the furnace, maybe, or the crucible, maybe? Furnace? I'm not too sure on that one. Um, we do actually, well, we could actually just try that out. Hmm. Yeah, we could try that. I've got some lime, there's some stone, limestone over here somewhere. There we are. Been running past it for practically the whole Let's Play. So, uh, let's get, I mean, let's drop the shield. But yeah, I'm pleased, man. We took that brown bear down. <laughs> Damn, that was good. I think that, um, well, the spear throw and then obviously the, the sword is doing a lot more damage than when we um, built it as well. So, uh, that's obviously going to help as well. So let's chip that out and then we'll see what we need to do. I'm assuming I either put it in the fire or I put it in the furnace. I don't really know which one, but um, let's find out, shall we? So we've got a ton of this stuff. Uh, just kind of just grab everything because I can't really see what I'm picking up and what I'm not picking up. So there we go. And we'll have a little bit of cucumber. Oh, not too bad, actually. It's okay. Let's throw the small stones into there. And then we've got some large stones. Got a secondary pile there where the bear was knocking around. There we go. And we've got a piece of flint. Can I? Yeah, I can't do anything with that. All right. I mean, I can, but I can't, um, you know, can't make a stockpile. And then we've got some limestone chunks. So let's see what it says. Uh, can be crushed into smaller pieces for further crafting. Okay, so I need my hammer for that, obviously. Okay. Alright. And then, yeah, where do I put this? I'm going to guess maybe the crucible furnace. I'm not sure, though. Um, I'm not the pebbles. There we go. Let's break that up. I don't know how much I need, but there we are. Uh, but I think to start with, I'll probably just do stick walls, maybe with a door on or something, and then we can take them down and replace them with the walls later. Um, so in here, I think I just dropped my... Let's put that in there. Okay, that doesn't go in there. Okay, right, well, I've asked in Discord, so we'll see if we get an answer before the end of the episode. Uh, There's probably something really simple, and I'm just not seeing it, but uh, yeah, I love that draw distance really nice you can see across the river now as well sweet um so uh, i think what we'll do then is we'll just start doing some building instead where are we there i'm just going to mark it out with this uh, as i say i don't think this is the exact spot that i'm going to be building but uh, i mean this is not going to be the exact size um it's going to be the spot where i'm building so i'm going to put that there and i think we'll just straighten these up a little bit i think uh, let's just go and pull those up, and we'll just just straighten that up a little bit. Let's go, uh, let's pull that one up as well. Actually, let's yeah, we'll probably straighten those up and just try and go as straight as we can. But we're building by hand, so you know it's it's going to be a little bit wobbly, isn't it? So there we go, and then we'll just try to get that as in line as I can. I'm just going to go down there. I'll ignore the other stick. I just kind of mark that out roughly. That's all that those sticks are there for. Just roughly mark that out. So we'll do the same again. I'm not too worried about it. I'm just kind of making sure that we line up with this one here. Uh, I'm not sure how big we're going to go with this, but there we are. That's good. We could go one more, but I think we might just leave it at that. Uh, let's pull up some of these ones. Yeah, we'll just do some building. I've got a load of supplies, so I may as well just start using them. Um, let's go here. 
And there we are. Let's grab that as well. And then... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to mark the outside with these poles. Uh, that'll kind of give me a bit of an insight as to what I'm going to do, I think. I've got a rough idea, but I don't totally know what I'm going to do, to be perfectly honest. I'm just kind of winging it, as I often do with these builds. So let's go there. A little bit straighter. Till, till it stops being green. I want it to go as far as it can. Down to there. And we'll just kind of straighten this up a little bit. Like so. I say it's not going to be perfect right angles or anything like that. It's hand built, so it's going to be a little bit wibbly wobbly. Um, you know, we're not building with precision here. So let's go there and then we'll come down this way. This bit's probably going to be open because I'm going to need to be able to wheel my cart in and unload things and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, I think, I think that's fine. Uh, let's just grab the cart and move it slightly. So it's probably going to be a lot of me umming and ahhing and that sort of thing. So <laughs> I apologize. But let's just grab this one next as well. Decided to do a mega build. That's generally my way in these games. So if you've been watching me for a while, you're probably used to that. Oh no, pins off doing another giant build again. That's what I usually do in these things. There we go. I mean, we could just make one massive building. Mm, kind of stupid, wouldn't it? But could do that. I don't mind a bit of curve. I say it's it's hand built, so um, you know lining it up is going to be extremely difficult. So I don't mind a bit of wibbly wobbly and that sort of thing. It's fine. There we go. Like a wibbly wobbly, like a jelly. Yeah, it's reasonably flat here as well. You can flatten the ground and had a go at it, but it's. It's a little bit fiddly, to say the least. So um, I figured let's just build here. It's nice and flat. Um, you can do it, but yeah, it, it just seemed a little bit on the fiddly side to me. So I kind of erred on the side of yeah, let's not do that. Let's just uh, let's just build on a flat flat ground, and we'll just kind of flatten it out or smooth the ground off that we're building on. That was kind of my thinking on that one. Let's pull that one up for the moment. Slopes away a little bit here. Maybe like some contour lines. You could flick on. Hmm. That'd be kind of handy, wouldn't it? So, yeah. All right. So let's get some. I would want to do the tall post, but I think I might just. I think we'll do the beams. Uh, where are we? Uh, support beams. There we go. I can't see them. Let's just drop all of those in. Obviously, I've got to drop the uh, rope in there as well. Go like that. It's going to be actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Is that a coyote? That's a coyote, right? Yeah. Bloody hell. Do you know what? I might just have a massive building there and then... Yeah, this is already getting a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Do you know what? We could just have one big building, couldn't we? Hmm. We could do. Uh, let's grab the cart and we'll drag that into the middle now. So I've got those uh, big thick posts because I'd like to have the outside as the smaller posts and then the middle piece as the bigger posts. And then, oof, yeah, this is going to be big actually. That's what she said, I guess. <laughs> um, there we go. Right, let's grab one of these. And then we've got to. Uh, where are we? Posts. Let's go there. So we kind of got to get that lined up there, roughly. So I'm not too worried if it doesn't line up and it's not straight, because it's hand-built, so that's okay. Let's go there. And then we'll get another one. This car is amazing. I love it. It's a bit, a bit of a nightmare to build in the terms of just a lot of resources and uh, that sort of thing. The anvil as well was fixed, by the way. That was another thing. Um, so, like, when my bronze anvil broke, I was able to continue smithing, uh, whereas now you can't do that. So, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a bit of a nightmare um, when you come to making that. So, uh, yeah, that that kind of helped us out a little bit. We kind of cheesed it, but um, yeah, apparently it's fixed that. So, 
that was wasn't supposed to be a thing which I didn't think it was but um, yeah we were able to take advantage of it at least so that's something that was pretty handy oh we need another one of these bunch of these like so so yeah this probably is gonna be a building episode uh, let's go oh I'm starting to get hungry oh, I'm gonna have to run in the forest and get some food and stuff um, yeah I may need to push this back a little further but there's like tree stumps and stuff in the way I don't want to go further back than that so oh boy maybe we just go maybe we just have an arch in the middle that could work huh yeah I definitely need to put, push out one more I want like a little courtyard area Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure on this one now. Now I'm looking at it, I'm not sure. Let's just lay down a load of posts. Screw it. Let's just do it until uh, hopefully some inspiration will strike. Do you want to use these for some reason? Just feel like they're rare. You know, we should be using those. Let's go there. That's good. And then we'll go the other side. And then I'm going to have to run in the forest and get some food. Because, um, yeah, I'm a little bit starving, to say the least. Yeah, it might just be one big building. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Right, let's go in the forest and get some food, because that's what I need. Uh, that's a little wibbly-wobbly as well, but that's okay. And then we can take this stuff down eventually, and we can reuse it in the uh, in the other build, so I'm okay with that. Um, oh, I need to actually flick the old doodad on. So I'll just run in here and grab him mushrooms. That's generally what I've been doing for most of the game. Yeah, like a couple of those. That's like five food almost. Just depends. Sometimes you grab stuff and it's you can get food really quickly. Other times it takes a little bit of time. And obviously there are bears and wolves and all sorts of nasty stuff in here. So you kind of got to watch yourself. But um, as long as you keep your eyes peeled and your ears peeled and everything else. It doesn't take too long to get some food. So I'm just going to grab some food and then I'll be back. Right, I'm back. I've uh, had some something to eat. It doesn't take too long. As I say, it's a bit hit or miss. The mushrooms are random, but um, yeah, it doesn't take too long for you to fill up. I am kind of wanted to do separate buildings, but I'm now kind of leaning towards maybe just doing one massive building. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of working out as to just be one ginormous building, isn't it? I guess I could section some of it off. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's just one massive building. I'm kind of leaning towards that now. Um, so it's been, been going backwards and forwards, but I think it might just be one big building is what we're going for. Uh, I'll need to be a bit closer. Say to there. If we go there, let's make sure everything kind of lines up. Make sure everything's all green on that end. And then we'll have this little bit here. Like so does mean that the entrances are going to be just going to be one, one way in, this way. Uh, but largely, I figured I'm going to be dragging the cart down this road a lot. And so, oh great, there's a bloody bear in there now. Alright, let's deal with the bear next. We're just slaying everything today, aren't we? There we go. Alright, let's go for this. Feel my sharpened blade, bear. Come on. Yeah, that's doing so much more damage. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I took all the slag as well. Oh, there's still some there. Uh, I took it and dumped it on the other side of the river over there. It's near where we spawned in, actually. Uh, just at the edge of the town that we spawned in at. So, I uh, just dumped it over there. Uh, let's go and grab some rope. We'll get those supports in. I'm thinking just one massive building. And then, yeah, no, one massive building... And then I could put little fences in here and just kind of section some of it off inside internally. Huh. Although this could just be one massive storage area, couldn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I'm just kind of winging it. So uh, let's go. I've got some pile of rope. I've got another pile of rope. Where was it? There's a pile over there. I thought I had another pile somewhere else. Did I not? Huh. 
Add another pile. Okay. Let's take that anyway. Oh no, I put them. They're in the. Yeah, they're on me, I think. So. Yeah. Although, are they in the cart? They might be in the cart, actually. Ah, oh, yeah, there we are. So, I know I had some more rope somewhere. There we go. So, we want to get the support beams in next. Uh, which we've got, so we just kind of need to go round everywhere then, don't we? This is going to be a lot of building. Uh, yeah, this is going to be... Oh boy. Ooh. What do you mean, spot taken? Oh, I've already got a uh, I've already got a beam there. That's what that's what it means, Pen. <laughs> Spot taken. It's like yeah, there's already a beam there. That's what. Dang. We may have to do a supply run. I think. I think we'll have to do a supply run. There we are. Let's get those in. Great, right, so we've got to build all of those. Yeah, I'm not sure whether this is going to be the... Um, uh, what do we got? Oh, it's still got plenty of stuff as well. Dang. Right, let's get this built. A lot of this is missing rope. Oh, it's missing sticks as well. Okay. Yeah, this might just be the warehouse. Like, no, re I'm not real, no real idea at the moment. Um, I'm just kind of winging it. I'd like to do a separate one, but I just don't think there's enough ground for that. I don't know. Maybe there is. But we're just going to go with this. Let's just go with that. Put that in there. Nope, rabbit, you stay away. Uh, the speedy thing doesn't stay, does it? Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't also put the resources in there sometimes as well. It's a little bit odd. It's like I built it, I had the resources on me, but um, it didn't build it. And then I need to speed that up. Oh, there we go. But then, yeah, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Strange. Yeah, well, we're going to need to do another supply run for rope and uh, actually sticks I'm probably okay for um, but yeah rope is definitely going to be something we have to go out and get some more of uh, but since he up to the amount of um, dogs baying that's around that's not such a bad bad idea or not not so difficult um, there we go some like yeah mega structure. This, this feels like a bit of overkill actually now I'm building it. I don't know. Let's just go for it. Feels like a bit of overkill though. Certainly all, it's certainly going to house everything we're ever going to need. Uh, no, I don't. No, what are you doing man? Uh, let's put the sword away. Let's also put the shield away as well. We don't need that. Oh, that's already built. Fair enough. Trying to build something that's already built. Let's go there. Oof. Yep, this is going to take a while. Okay, right. So it's the morning. I think I've got most of this built now, uh, but we're pretty well much out of materials. Um, certainly the rope, anyway. I'm not too sure about it, to be honest. Now I've built it, I'm thinking it might be a bit unwieldy. Hmm. I don't know, let me know what you guys think to it. Uh, but Serge the Dev got back to me and um, said, it's limestone burn pile. And it's like, obviously, I remember seeing this in the burning thing, but just didn't, just completely forgot about it. So yeah, we got to make a burn pile. So let's place that down and we'll have to go and get some, we'll just put this, I love that skeleton. I wonder if I could like put that in my, uh, as my first bear kill. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, let's put that there, and then I need to add like a bunch of firewood and sticks. Well, the sticks is no problem. Uh, the limestone, oh, that's already gone in there. That's good. Uh, the sticks I've got somewhere over here. Where's my stick pile? There it is. Oh, yeah, we've got plenty of those. That's all good. Well, actually, I've got to chop a tree down to make some firewood, so um, 
we're easily going to be able to make that. But yeah, I, I completely forgot about that. Totally forgot about it. Egg on my face. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I remember seeing it as soon as you said it. I'm like, oh god, yeah, I remember seeing that and completely forgot about it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's chop this down now. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that building. I think it's a bit too big and unwieldy. Hmm. I don't know. It would it would be an all-in-one building, though, wouldn't it? We could get everything in there and a lot more. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll say, let me know what you think. Uh, let's pick, let's chop this thing. This axe is beautiful as well, by the way. It just makes mincemeat of this stuff. It's fantastic. Uh, so let's put that there. We'll chop that up. And then we'll get that thing cooking. That's brilliant. And then I guess I could just lay down some of what the roof is going to look like as well. Um, and then you guys can see it. But yeah, I'm not sure. I'm having second thoughts now. So I don't know. I tend to do that a lot in these games. I have a basic idea, but you never know what it's going to look like until you actually build the thing. Um, but yeah, I don't. To have like three separate buildings, I think would be. I get. Well, I don't know. I think that would be. I need quite a big area. But, well, I don't know. Let's chop this up anyway. Gonna need some more logs anyway. There we go. That should be the last lot. Uh, oh, colliding with something. There we go. We'll chop that up and then we'll cook that thing off. I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's probably gonna be a while. Uh, we're possibly going to want to set another one of these off. I feel like it's going to be the charcoal. Because we get... What do we get? We get 2,000 grams of quick lime. How much and how much does that do? And all that sort of stuff? I have no idea. Um, but I'm assuming we're probably going to need... Oof, okay, that's going to take most of the day. We might want to build another one of those, mightn't we? Hmm. Uh, let's go walls. Can we see how much... Roughly, no, I don't want that. See how much. So we only need one gram to make one bit of lime, of quick lime. Uh, we need sand, which is not a problem. And obviously, we need water. Um, I'm assuming I mix that up in like one of those um, pots or something, uh, like the cooking pot that we've got or something. I would assume that's what I cook that up in. Interesting. Okay, but that's going to be cooking away now. Um, what have I got on me? I've got some rope. Let's put the roof on and we'll just kind of slap those down. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of... Now I'm seeing the roof on it. I'm starting to like it a little more. Uh, can we not rotate? There we go. Ah, they're going to be rotated different ways. Okay. Uh, oh, is that not? Oh, we've got one unbuilt. Fair enough. Uh, what do we need? A rope. Let's put that in. Missed one. Thought I got them all, but I got most of them. I don't know. Now I'm seeing it, I think it might not be too bad. Now I'm just putting the roof on it. I'm starting to like it a little more. Uh, oh, duh. got this support unbuilt as well. Fair enough. There we go. Let's get that back together. Put that on there. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? And then, um, if we have... Yeah, that like the overhangs are off slightly differently aren't they there might be something we could do with that maybe we shorten that post or something hmm so you got overhang here and then overhang but then no overhang if that makes sense hmm sure how I feel about that now let's take that down I don't think there's anything in there is there so can we change the rotation of that just seems to be whichever way it just snaps in that way I guess it's just the way it's built I guess I'll have to live with it get a little picky with these some things sometimes yeah joint bear skeleton so we're gonna have a big brown bear skeleton at some point as well over there um, but yeah I, now I'm starting to see it it's a little bit uneven but like I say 
it's hand built with hand tools so you know if you see ye olde buildings uh, but you know we've got a lot of them in England for instance they're not very the walls are not very straight on them because um, you know they didn't have lasers laser levels or even levels or anything well they had some plumb bobs and stuff but they had that since the Roman times but uh, you know what I mean uh, they are not exactly straight all the time so yeah I don't know I think that looks okay what do you guys think let me know in the comments uh, this could either be a all-in-one building uh, where we've just basically put everything in there house and we could section it off with uh, where are we walls I could put like fences and just kind of section off like this is the storage area I'd probably remove that but uh, you know you could section some of it off and then maybe put like a you know this is a living quarters or something obviously um, we'd want some ways to get in there but yeah that could work living quarters with the fire in here um, you've got that there Obviously, walls on the outside. Huh. Let's kind of throw... Oh, I can't place those. Oh, wow. Did I just throw all my stuff in those walls? I probably did. That's fine. Uh, but, yeah. I'm thinking that. I'm thinking sectioning that off. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I've probably said that about 50 times. Uh, but I think for now, I think this is probably a good place to call it. And we'll end the episode. That is going to take a long time to build that. So... Um, I'm going to see how much quick climb it takes. I'd say I'd like to do the walls, but it depends how much quick climb it takes. We may need to get a massive limestone factory going with a load of those burn piles. I'm just going to do the one to start with, um, and then we'll kind of go from there, and we can scale up and see how much we need. But I suspect 2,000 grams. Does it tell me, say, so per square meter? So could I just, hang on, hold that thought. Just play, can I just place one of these down? If I grab some stuff. Normally if you've got a bit of the materials, it'll let you place them down. Yeah, there we go. So if I put that there, like so, how much does that need? Ooh. Okay, so one wall is probably going to take just over half of the quick loam that we produce out of one of these piles. Oh boy. And then how many stones is that? The stones are not too much of an issue. Five stones and 50 small stones. Oof. Okay. That's going to require a lot. We're going to have to go... I think we're going to have to take the cart out and go mining for limestone in the next one. Um, but yeah, we could... I'd say we could just do... Let's just kind of do another one. Could just make it all in a hologram, couldn't we? So... Yeah, that's pretty much the same again. So we're looking at about 1,200 a pop for each wall. So I don't know how many that is. Probably 12,000 plus we're going to need. And we get 2,000 off each burn pile. So we're going to say, we'll probably say want six, but I'll say seven just to be safe. Probably going to want seven of those burn piles going to just put the walls on the outside. Oh boy, that's going to be expensive. Uh, but anyway, as I say, I think for now, I think this is where I'll call it. I'll end the episode. Like I say, let me know your thoughts on the mega build and see whether you like it or not. Uh, improvements, anything like that, I'm kind of open. Uh, I just kind of winged that one. Uh, yeah, like I say, I think this is where we're going to call it and we'll end the episode here and we'll probably carry on building in the next one, although I would like to go and get some limestone. We could... Hmm. Could drag the cart down and then go and get some iron and go in there and get some like swat, uh, go to the swamp and get some slime and stuff could just go on an expedition with the cart or something hmm. we could do that in the next one actually whilst I gather and we can gather some resources at the same time uh, but anyway I'm going to stop waffling and I think that's where I'm going to call it anyway and end the episode so if you like the one please give me a thumbs up comment your thoughts down below subscribe for more I really do appreciate it stay safe out there everyone and I'll catch you next time